The White House also said today it is considering humanitarian aid for Syria as the situation there descends into civil war. As you already know, there's been an uprising there for 11 months. The rebels are trying to overthrow the iron-fisted dictatorship of Bashar al-Assad, a dictatorship that began with his father 40 years ago. In Damascus today, Assad met with the foreign minister of Russia, one of Syria's few friends. Assad promised, again, to end the bloodshed. But today, his forces pressed their assault on the city of Homs, a rebel stronghold. This video from the rebels appears to show a building under attack. The Assad government has banned independent reporting, but our Clarissa Ward was able to get into northern Syria to a location that we can't name for security reasons. She is with the rebels who are now fighting to overthrow the regime. Clarissa, I understand you went to a militia training session today with some new recruits. Tell me about that. That's right, Scott. We went early this morning with some members of the Syrian Liberation Army to one of their training sessions. I think really what was most striking is that you see when you watch these men training that they are not military experts. They are farmers. They are workers. They do not have any military background. They are not particularly physically fit. They have enormous amounts of courage and spirit. But the question is really, uh, will that be any match for the Syrian army if and when they make a big push into this city? You visited a medical clinic that the rebels are running, but they're running it out of an apartment building. It's a makeshift hospital of sorts. And when we visited there, we saw one man literally donating blood. The blood was then tested just to see the blood type and then injected straight into another man. So we are talking about an extremely basic medical operation. What about funerals, Clarissa? Have you been seeing many of those? Since we've been here, there have been funerals literally every single day. Uh, just today, we were hearing a report that uh, snipers were actually firing down on one funeral in this city. But it's just hard to even wrap your head around uh, how many people are being killed every single day in cities like this across the country. CBS News correspondent Clarissa Ward with the rebels reporting independently inside Syria. Clarissa, thank you very much.